this video, we're describing two automated sample prep systems that we built for Geo Analytica, a commercial laboratory in Chile. One of the systems is designed to handle drill core and other materials with large lumps, and the one that's furthest behind me is designed for blast hole samples and RC type samples, and they don't require a big void as a primary crusher. We'll start with the drill core system, and as with all our systems, the sample is first weighed, and the weight is used to control the splitters that will follow on in the process. So after weighing, the sample is loaded into the sample lifter. Now this has a safety door in the front, so that it will not rise unless the door is closed. And the sample lifter lifts the sample up to the hopper above the big boy crusher. The big boy crusher crushes down to around 10 to 15 millimetres and the sample falls into a sample bin which is travelling on a conveyor underneath. After the sample is crushed in the big boy crusher and falls into the sample bin, the bin travels along the conveyor towards the other part of the system and it is lifted up by a bin lifter and dropped into the boy crusher. This is the sample lifter, lifts the bin, rotates, drops into the hopper and the sample then travels to the boy crusher along a mechanical feeder which includes a screen which we call a self-cleaning screen and it's a screen developed by Rock Labs. The screen removes the fine particles which don't need crushing any further and the coarser material passes over the screen and into the void crusher. Both portions then drop into a mechanical feeder which takes it to the first splitter. The splitter takes out one kilogram, no matter what the initial sample weight was. And the one kilogram will travel on to be pulverized in the next stage of the process. In the pulverizing section of the system, the sample is pulverized by a Rock Labs continuous ring mill. And this one has two stages for a, a fine product, about 95% passing 100 microns. The sample enters the top from a feeder, passes through the two chambers of the mill, and exits down the exit pipe, heading towards the final splitter in the process, which will divide that pulverized material into three portions. After the sample has been pulverized by the continuous ring mill, air is sucked through the mill while it's running to remove the last few grams of powder which might be left in the mill. And then the mill is ready for the next sample. While the sample is being pulverized, it travels down a feeder to the last sample splitter, which is in the rear of this cabinet. And in this case, it's being divided into three portions. One is 500 grams and two of 250 grams, but these weights can be altered on the console. The feeder brings the sample and each of the three splits falls into one of these metal bins. The, the metal bin will be emptied into a paper bag or a plastic bag or maybe into a plastic cup and taken to the laboratory for analysis. At least one of the splits will be kept as a spare sample in case an analysis has to be repeated. We call this the XY sample collector. It's the first time that this has been incorporated into a rock lab system. And it can accommodate a batch of up to 10 samples. But you can load anything from 1 to 10 samples at a time. With a commercial laboratory, clients often want to retain the whole sample for possible future 
use or for a metallurgical experiment or possibly to be reanalyzed again at a later date. And so there must be provision for collection of all the material that does not go to the pulverizer and into the final three splits. And in this conveyor, we have 10 bins similar to the other one. And the bins will have a, a sample bag inside and they will come along the conveyor and collect the sample from the feeder at the end of the conveyor. When the sample is loaded into the sample loader originally, when it's going to be lifted up to the big boy crusher, that sample bag is brought to this conveyor. And if the sample bag is damaged in some way, then we would use a new sample bag. This conveyor lid has a safety switch so that if the lid is lifted, the conveyor is turned off. So fingers cannot be damaged by moving bins. Here we've got a large plastic bag uh, which can hold 20 to 30 kilograms of sample and it's loaded into this little clip at the top and put into the sample bag. The sample bag. The lid is closed and while the next sample is being weighed and loaded into the big buoyed sample bin lifter, this bin will now travel down the conveyor ready to collect the first sample that's produced from the next batch of samples.